Hey y'all, this is Taylor with My Pet Chicken and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Hen Pen Brooder from My Pet Chicken. <laughs> A little about this brooder, you can tell that it's fully collapsible, which is super handy for shipping and for storing. You can use it year after year, hatch after hatch, and it doesn't take up that much space. It's made of thick, sturdy material and it is waterproof. However, we do recommend that you use a drop cloth or trash bag or something underneath it if you're gonna use it inside your house on wood or laminate flooring. If you're in your garage or laundry room or something like that, you might not need it. Without further ado, let's open it up. There's an elastic strap that's wrapped around it. You're gonna want to first start by finding where you can slip it off and boom, unfold, unfold, unfold. Whoa, pop, pop. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. And so you're finding, I'm finding the corners. So the corners are like bent in like this and I'm just putting my arm under here and pushing up and whoop, it pops right out. So I have this, whoo. Beautiful brooder. It's an octagon. The reason it's an octagon, glad you asked, is because typical rectangular or square brooders, your chicks can get stuck in the corners and it's not good. Um, so we have, this is a safety feature, it being octagonal, octagonal, um, so that there are corners, but they're not deep, they're pretty shallow. It's really big, it looks like a little kiddie pool. Um, all right. We have our brooder. So comes with this lid and what you want to do to get it on is just like a zipper, find the, part, the spot where the zipper starts and match it up with the zipper start right here on the brooder. Line it up. Just like you're zipping a jacket. Get started. Easy peasy. Zip, 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 from reaching in and grabbing the chicks when you don't want them to. As for the size, it's made for about 12 chicks or six ducklings up until six weeks of age before you'll wanna move them to something bigger. Important to note, you do not want to use a heat lamp with this. It is not fire safe. So um, what I am gonna do is I'm going to link in the description a whole list of recommended heat sources that you can use in this safely. Beyond just baby chicks, you can have full grown hens in here, if they wanna be in here. <laughs> um, you can have full grown hens in here if they are broody and you want them to hatch their own babies and have some like space and have a maternity ward. If you have an injured or sick member of your flock and you wanna give them some space, you can keep them in here. Um, you can quarantine a new member of your flock, keep them in here. The hen pen brooder has so many uses, not just for babies. On that note, no matter who you have in here, whether it's the babies or the grown-ups, this is indoor use only. I'm only out here for the beautiful sunshine for the case of this video, but you're gonna want this indoors because it is not predator safe. Okay, as far as keeping it clean, not keeping it clean, it's gonna, gonna get dirty. Cleaning it when you're done. You want to wipe it down with a damp paper towel um, and then make sure it completely dries before you start folding it up. Let's fold this baby up. Have the brooder in front of you with the strap on the opposite side from where you're standing. Pull the strap corner into the opposite corner and you'll see it forms two square shapes. Collapse the left side in and if you're feeling any resistance, readjust the extra fabric inside to just make some space. Once you've gotten that one, then you'll do the same thing on the right side. Tuck that in, tuck in all of the extra fabric until you can get it folded in. Then do your final fold and you will feel some resistance here. It's springy and it's meant to, you know, spring back open. Um, so don't worry, you've done it right. Um, if after you do this last fold and get everything set up, you can see the chicken logo on the outside, then that means you have done it right. 
Now take the elastic band, wrap it around, and ta-da! You did it, and you can store it away for next time. Thanks for watching and learning about the Hen Pen Brooder. Don't forget to check the description for heat source recommendations. Bye, y'all.